The daily newspapers talk of everything except the daily. The papers annoy me. They teach me nothing. What they recount doesn't concern me, doesn't ask me questions, and doesn't answer the questions I ask or would like to ask. What's really going on? What we're experiencing, the rest, all the rest, where is it? How should we take account of, question, describe what happens every day and recurs every day? The banal, the quotidian, the obvious, the common, the ordinary, the infraordinary, the background noise, the habitual. To question the habitual, but that's just it. We're habituated to it. We don't question it. It doesn't question us. It doesn't seem to pose a problem. We live it without thinking, as if it carried within it neither questions nor answers, as if it weren't the bearer of any information. This is no longer even conditioning, it's anesthesia. We sleep through our lives in a dreamless sleep. But where is our life? Where is our body? Where is our space? How are we to speak of these common things? How to track them down, rather? How to flush them out? Rest them from the dross in which they remain mired? How to give them meaning, a tongue? To let them, finally, speak of what is, of what we are. What's needed, perhaps, is finally to found our own anthropology, one that will speak about us, will look in ourselves for what, for so long, we've been pillaging from others. Not the exotic anymore, but the endotic. To question what seems so much a matter of course that we've forgotten its origins. To rediscover something of the astonishment that Jules Verne or his readers may have felt faced with an apparatus capable of reproducing and transporting sounds. For the astonishment existed, along with thousands of others, and it's they which have moulded us. What we need to question is bricks, concrete, glass, our table manners, our utensils, our tools, the way we spend our time, our rhythms. To question that which seems to have ceased forever to astonish us. We live, true. We breathe, true. We walk, we open doors, we go down staircases, we sit at a table in order to eat, we lie down on a bed in order to sleep. How? Why? Where, when? Why? Why?